welcome to the show and welcome to Quebec City. Tonight we're going to take you behind the scenes of a rock concert. Not just any rock concert, the group is the Tea Party, one of Canada's leading rock groups. This concert is part of a Canada-wide tour. And at every stop on the tour, the band's going to be playing with a different symphony orchestra. Now, putting the Tea Party together with an orchestra may spell disaster, but not so for these guys. They've got science on their side. We're going to show you the science and technology that helps pull this all together, including how sound engineers can make sure you hear a harp as clearly as you hear an electric guitar, how something called pink noise is used to paint the acoustic shape of a room well before it fills up with people, why the concert the band members hear is very different from the one you and I hear, and why our appreciation of music is intimately connected to our appetite for sex. But there's no concert without music. And right now, the orchestra is on stage, the fans are in their seats, and backstage, the three members of the tea party are about to start work for the night. It's time for this show to begin. Stand by, house at zero, house at zero, go, stand by, MC, MC, go. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, the tea party! Gentlemen, have a great show. The last time the sound guy checked his levels, this place was empty. Now it's full of 1,200 people, and that completely changes the sound mix. Every person here is absorbing a measurable amount of sound, and they're absorbing more high notes than low notes. So the first few minutes of any show are a pretty manic time for the sound engineer. Definitely a diff whole different entity because now I'm, we're trying to, instead of just getting the, the band as the main focus, we basically want the symphony as the main focus and getting the band underneath it to fill it out. different instruments from around the world. We don't own any everything, so naturally sampling has played an important role in our music. Digital technology provides a number of opportunities which facilitate the incorporation of the sounds of other places and spaces. For one thing, sampling. You can sample the sounds of another of an instrument from another space and place with a very different timbre and be able to use that sound without actually playing that instrument in live context. The one thing that uh, this band has always done is we've, uh, to a certain extent, we've exploited technology, but in, uh, in an organic sense, you know, so there's a real chemistry that's happening with uh, what the Tea Party's music is all about. More natural sounding an orchestra is uh, with microphones is when it's mic'd from not close, but like not too far, but at least maybe a little over my head and like say 20 feet in the air. Just about 
violin instead of uh, right now we have these what we call isomax which you clip right onto the bridge of the uh, of the instrument and so the sound source is uh, it's right there it's the mic's picking it up it's like a few inches away uh, and so this way you know like a drum sound won't be as loud in that uh, as the violin itself I mean you don't want the, the, the exterior sounds to overpower the instrument itself Believe it or not, that was only the second time the Tea Party and the Trois Rivières Symphony Orchestra have performed that song together. The first time was this morning. The Tea Party may be on tour, but they're playing with a different orchestra at every stop along the way. So the first time these musicians even saw the music they'd be playing was when they showed up for rehearsal less than 12 hours ago. The first thing arranger Mark Willett does is run through some of the concert's more difficult passages. Question. He addresses any question the orchestra has, and then it's the sound man's turn to get to know the orchestra. He wants to hear them play section by section. Second violin. Deuxième violon, s'il vous plaît, même endroit. So that he can get a level from each microphone and get a feel for how loudly or softly they're going to play. Usually, conductors get sections to play more loudly. Oh, you still have room. I saw that room. Tonight, oh, yeah, that's that a collaborative room. effort, and these two don't have much time to figure it out. After the orchestra's had a chance to get to know the music, and the engineers are happy with their sound, they start playing with the tea party. And then it's a matter of running through each and every song that'll be played tonight, and grabbing a few souvenirs along the way. Stay with us when we come back, more music, and we'll find out why a sad song can make the whole world cry.